Hi, this is Jason Tatum with another video update on our Fletcher Destroyer uh, custom transmitter and um, uh, custom model here. So this is a, um, a Lindbergh Fletcher class model. It's uh, normally known as the Blue Devil. Uh, this is uh, sort of being modeled as the Fletcher class destroyer. I mean, the, excuse me, the actual USS Fletcher. It's a little bit different. Uh, the actual Fletcher uh, only had single rudder. This does have dual rudder. Uh, we're pretending that this uh, uh, underwent a Fram 3 upgrade. Uh, so we've got the dual rudders uh, and a few other modifications. Um, quick overview of what we have inside the ship. Uh, first of all, we've got uh, two speed controllers. There's the starboard and there's the port side uh, speed controllers. Uh, here's our LiPo battery. Uh, here's our receiver and antenna for that. Um, the two speed controllers are hooked up to one power switch, so this uh, switches everything uh, on and off in the ship. And then uh, there's a little LED. Um, it's not very bright. That's intentional. I wanted it to be uh, kind of hard to see. Um, but it lets you know that the power is on. The reason why is I didn't want it to make the model glow. We're probably going to stick that up through the hole somewhere. Um, we have our two uh, geared motors. Uh, one servo for our dual rudder. And then we have this uh, custom transmitter that uh, I've been working on for uh, almost a year and a half. Um, so let's see what it can do. Uh, first thing is let's show you the rudder. Um, the actual Fletcher class destroyer had a steering motor. Um, when the helmsman spun the wheel for, say, uh, I don't know, 30 degrees left rudder, uh, the rudder wouldn't instantly go to 30 degrees, right? First of all, the helmsman would have to spin the wheel several times, several full rotations to get that uh, uh, 30 degrees. Uh, but he wasn't controlling the rudder directly. He was commanding the motor to turn the rudders, and um, that actually took uh, took some time. It was not instantaneous. We've simulated that here in this model. This uh, steering wheel here is actually hooked up to a rotary encoder, and if I give it full 30 degrees uh, deflection, you can see that the rudder is slowly moving over to 30 degrees. You have a little bit of animation here uh, that tells you uh, when it's steering, um, when it shows four equal signs across the top there, that means that the motor has reached the uh, requested um, uh, deflection, in this case uh, uh, port 30 degrees. We want to go to starboard 30 degrees, we've got to rotate here several times, and you can see the little animation there, and you can see the rudder is slowly swinging over there. I don't know if you can see that, there it goes, nice and smooth. Okay, so I can keep ordering different degrees, whatever I want, and go back and forth. The motor is just going to rotate those rudders at a constant rate. So whatever I set it for, it'll take a little bit of time to get there. Uh, if I switch on our emergency mode, which makes the transmitter work like a conventional um, controller, then I have instantaneous control over the rudder like you would see in a normal model. But this is what we're really after here. I just love how smooth that is. Engine control is through two um, engine order telegraphs. Basically um, the, uh, the captain would uh, order um, you know something like, uh, I don't know, all ahead one-third we move those sliders to head one third. All head one third, aye. And then you just heard the transmitter actually talk. And you can see our propellers engaging. Now, when these lights stop flashing, that means they've reached the engine order. We can see we're at a head one third. Let's say I want to make the port engine only go back full. Port back full, aye. Watch what happens down here. You see the port engine slowing down. Now there's a delay while the reversing turbine's engaged. There it comes. Now it's going to reverse. Okay, let's order um, all stop here. 
Papa. Now you notice one uh, motor took longer to come to a stop than the other one. That's because that motor uh, was in full reverse or uh, back full and uh, it took longer to shut that one down. The starboard engine was at a head one-third. It was going less fast so it was able to shut down faster. Um, let's go ahead and see uh, what our maximum capability is. Let's, uh, let's order all ahead flank. All ahead flank, aye. Uh, we should be uh, hauling here. Uh, we should get us somewhere 35 to 37 knots on the real ship. Somewhere around there. Well, these guys are cooking now. Oh, we've just reached uh, a head flank. Uh-oh, we need to do all back full. Full right runner. Full left rudder. Rudder midships. All stop. All stop by. Now, if we switch back to emergency mode here, you notice that these lights went yellow. Uh, this in the case that we now have um, uh, instant control over the motor, so I can go ahead, flank, with no delay. So that's how that works. Switch back to simulation mode. Stop by. And then we get our voices back. Uh, we have a couple other uh, display modes here. We can see what the throttles are actually doing. So Starboard ahead, one third eye. I'll show you this as an example. You see it's slowly ramping up. I'll stop here. I'll stop by. We can see the value of our sliders, our, our linear potentiometers. So we can see what our starboard ahead flank. I'll stop by. You see what's going on there, uh, and then we can see the values being sent to our speed controllers. That's just a number between uh, zero and one thousand twenty-three. So when I do um, ahead one third, starboard ahead one third. I. You're going to see that skip ahead a little bit. So we have a cutoff at uh, about 600, and you see this number increasing. That means that the uh, we just hit our uh, the head one third. Let's go to starboard to head one half high. Go to one half here. So it goes up a little bit faster, a little bit higher. And do that back one, one third. Back one third high. So here you can see what's actually being programmed on the uh, the. Uh, Electronic speed controllers. All stop by. We have a menu system where we can adjust a lot of different things. Uh, we can adjust the LCD backlight. Like 
like so. We can adjust the LCD contrast. You get the idea there. We can turn the sounds on or off. For example, we just commanded uh, all head one third, but we heard nothing. Good if you want to do some silent operation, right? Turn the sound back on. We can also adjust the sound volume. So I could turn this way down. Starboard ahead, one third eye. All stop by. Uh, engine change speed, uh, that controls um, how long it takes to ramp up and down from one speed to another. Um, if we, whoops, timed out here. If uh, I get more bars here, it means it takes longer. If I have less bars, it means it takes less time. Order delay seconds, I have this set for three seconds, three bars here. That just means that um, uh, anytime I give an order, it's going to wait three seconds before you actually hear the transmitter respond. For example, let's crank that sucker up. Now, if we order ahead one third, one. Starboard ahead, one third eye. Okay, we heard, actually heard the sound first, but nothing's happened with the motors yet, right? There it goes. All stop by. So we can fine tune that in the field if we want to. Uh, I think three seconds, three or four seconds is usually pretty good. Reversing delay, it means it's going to wait four seconds uh, whenever we're going from forward to reverse or from reverse to forward. It's to simulate the, the uh, engaging and disengaging of the reversing turbine, as on the real Fletcher ship. Uh, let's see here, uh, max rudder, um, this doesn't really do anything right now. Um, our max is always set to 30 degrees, but the idea here is we could adjust this to 35, which would be the absolute maximum on a Fletcher class. 30 degrees was your normal maximum. Um, and here's how we can adjust the calibration of our speed controllers. Uh, our maximum forward is 750, our minimum forward is 600. So when we're at all stop, we're actually at 512. And when we um, kick in um, a forward speed, it'll go from 512, it'll jump right to 600 and start counting up from 600 uh, until it gets, I'm, well, hold on, I went too far, I went the wrong way. Uh, whoops, I don't want to make any adjustments here. Uh, I'm not watching what I'm doing here. So it'll go from 600 and it'll count all the way up to 750. 750 is the maximum speed. If we want the model to go faster, um, all we really have to do is uh, adjust this value upwards and then the forward speed is actually faster. Uh, same thing with uh, reversing delays, I mean reversing settings. Um, the reversing maximum speed is 350, the minimum speed is 457. So what happens here is, again, uh, center throttle or, or all stop is 512. When reverse kicks in, it starts at 457 and starts counting down. Uh, so that's how the speed controllers are, are controlled by this transmitter. And uh, finally, we've got uh, a sound menu here, and this just allows us to uh, um, do some special effects here, like I can play Anchors Away. Um, okay, that's nice. Uh, we can play Captain on the Bridge. Captain on the Bridge. We can play Sound General Quarters. Sound General Quarters. General Quarters, General Quarters, all hands, man, your battle station. Uh, we got sonar. Active sonar, right? And I think that's all I've loaded on here. Yeah, I only have the five sound effects on here, but I could load a whole bunch more on here and just select them from the menu. And then this button here, uh, pressing this button, uh, would select it. Um... I don't know if you've noticed, but I've actually labeled the power switch backwards. Uh, off is really on, and on is, is actually off. These are just stick-on labels. I can take those off and fix it. Um, this switch currently doesn't do anything, but it is hooked up. Uh, and these two knobs here 
don't do anything either, but they are hooked up. These are just uh, potentiometers. Um, I haven't figured out what I'm going to use those things for. Um, but uh, I think everything else is ready for uh, our seed trials. So um, hope you enjoy the video.